Good morning, class. Welcome again to our lecture video tutorial on our course FRM7 for Statistics and Measurements Module 1. Now let's move forward to lesson number 2. This is a continuation of lecture videos, guys. Now for lesson number 2, title is on Scales of Measurement. Now at the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain and identify the different types of data. As previously discussed, Statistics utilizes data. Data are then analyzed in order to make inferences or uh, results, discuss those results and what they are what do they mean. Now in statistics there are different types of data. Data types can determine the level of information that you can generate in a data set. Now what do you mean by this? Everything that you can look around you is in form of data. Now, different data types magdipindi liwat ang information nga imong makukolekt dipindi sa kind of data nga imong uh, nga imong nga may nasa imo. For example, let's say color. What is the color of the leaves of the tree? Could be green, yellow, uh, purple, etc. Now there is a higher level of data nga, but when you try to analyze or you try to discuss that kind of data and analyze it, ang imong level of, it, of information is just very low because you just described the, the description mo ito. Diba, may mga the tree, the leaves of the tree are colored green. Now, what about the data on plant height or plant diameter or tree diameter, diameter at breast height? Now, that is a different set of data na mas higher pa ang level of information na imong ma-acquire. Why? Because if you know, Diba? If you if you will be able to know the the height of the tree, then you can make inferences on some man mga factors that could affect the growth or the height of the tree. Diba? You can correlate your data with another set of data. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I'm trying to say is different sets of data, different types of data would have would mean different types of information. Now in this lesson we will be discussing the different scales of measurement depending on your data types. Now, having a good understanding of the different data types, also called measurement scales, is a crucial prerequisite for doing exploratory data analysis or EDA. Since you can use certain statistical measurements only for specific data types, yes, there are specific statistical measurements that's only for specific data types, which later we will be discussing. Now, you also need to know which data type you are dealing with to choose the right visualization method or to choose the right statistical analysis that you will be applying based on your data types. For example, in forestry or in agricultural researches, you will not use, like, um, let's say, analysis of variance with just merely identifying ang imong mga sex sa imong goats, like male or female, because that is a nominal data type. So certain statistical uh, analysis requires certain types of data for it to be analyzed and make right or proper conclusions. Now, as an introduction for this lesson, now, in statistics, it is very important to be familiar with the different types of data for us to know what specific statistical tool we are going to use or for certain data we collected. Now, we can organize or present certain data using proper graphs or charts. Now, the one of the simplest forms of statistical analysis that we can use, we have descriptive stat and we have inferential statistics. Now, in descriptive statistics, you are merely describing certain things or in data types like you make graphs, you describe what is the color, you describe what is the age brackets, describe what is the gender, or those are the nominal, the ordinal scales. Later we'll be discussing now. There are two main types of data, the qualitative or categorical, there are only two types, two main types of data, qualitative or categorical and quantitative or numerical. Quanti means number, Quali means categories or descriptions. Hence, data comes in many forms and is classified into four measurements of scale. Nominal scale, ordinal scale, those are for qualitative. And then we have the interval scale and the ratio scale for the quantitative. 
Now, the scale of measurement was introduced by Stanley Smith, the, the old person on the right. Stevens, an American psychologist and founder of Harvard's Psychoacoustic Laboratory. Now, qualitative data can be nominal and ordinal. So, I'm telling you, ha? While quantitative can either be interval and ratio of scale. Again, sa review, qualitative, that is description. Okay? Categorical. Qualitative, description, categorical. While quantitative, it's all about numerical or in numbers. Anything that is in numbers, form, and data, is quantitative. Or ang qualitative, if it's categorical or it's in description or in, by words, that is qualitative data. Now, the first type of data, we have the nominal scales. What is nominal scales? This is used for labeling, labeling variables and associated with indistinct groups or events. Variables have no qualitative value. It's easy to remember nominal as names or labels. Nila, remember, we talked about nominal scales. Just put into your mind that when you say nominal, that is names or labels. So, for example, sa nominal, money male and female. Hair color, brown, black, gray. Where do you live? Some are native all. Those are nominal scales. It's just, just simple names or labels. You cannot further analyze those data. Nominal lang, na. You describe that kind of data. What is the data? Okay? Male or female. Brown, black, gray. Diba? Can do higher analysis other than that. The second is ang ordinal scale. So, mula yung gingo niyo, different data types gives different types of levels of information. So, for nominal scales, ah, mula good na. Kamal yung gender, what is your gender? Male or female? Those, that's it, mula good na ang level of information that you can get out of those nominal scales or nominal data. The second type of data is the ordinal scales. Now, ordinal scales data are arranged in order. Mula kita ko ordinal. Ay mo kalimot ha, when you say nominal, nom, name, name. Names or labels. Ay kando ha, ordinal scales, order, ordinal or order. Or you can have it ranking or placement. This is a type of data, it's a type of qualitative data that you can rank or organize based on placement. Now the differences between each other are not measurable. Example, the number 4 is better than a number 3 or number 2. But we cannot quantify how much better it is. And then an example, di ba? Example 2 is the difference between okay and unhappy. The same as the difference between very happy and happy. We are unsure. So there is level of uh, organization or placement of that kind of data. But you are not sure whether the other thing is better than the other thing. Or the other thing is less than the other thing. Okay? Another example of ordinal scale is uh, ordinal. Mm -hmm. Example, kaya ang imong diaper, diaper sa imong bata, makanto ka sa gaysano. ba ang atong diaper sa bata, kaya may daman na uh, infant, small, medium, large, extra large. Diba? Those are ordinal types of data because you can categorize each by ranking. Small, Big, medium, large, okay. But you that is not presented in numbers or numeric form. It's in qualitative or in description, categorical, categorical data. But it is not exhibited in numerical form. That's sample of ordinal. Any type of qualitative data that you can organize or place. Eh, ma nasay ko ba? Si tawag ni? Pagkasunod-sunod. So, pwede ito ordinal scale to. Number three, interval. What is interval scales? Now, for numbers one and two, that is qualitative data. For numbers three and four, interval scale and ratio scales, these are numeric or quantitative data. Now, interval scales are numeric. The values are arranged in order and the differences between values are equal. However, the interval scale has no absolute or true zero point. A true zero point refers to a value that has no magnitude or meaningless. Now, example, Celsius. Now, because the difference between each value is the same. That is, the difference between 60 and 50 degrees is a measurable 10 degrees. Same with between 80 and 70. So, for interval scales, interval. So, may na siya range baga. Nga na na. May range siya baga ang imong types of data. Like, 
Celsius or that temperature in Celsius or in Fahrenheit, di ba? May daka 60 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, ang difference between that or the interval between sa 60 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit is measurable, which is 10 degrees. That's what makes it an interval scale. And since it's exhibited in numbers or presented in numbers, then we can put it as a quantitative type of data. Number two, example number two. Now, the difference between the values 2 and 3 is 1 on an interval scale, and the difference between the values of 4 and 5 on that same scale is also 1. So, like example number 2. And example number 1. So, I'm trying to say, say interval scale, measurable ang imong nga difference sa between two points. Or may interval. Siya, di ba? Now, lastly is ang imong ratio scales. Now, ratio scales are values are in order and the exact value between units is defined. It's identical to an interval scale except that the variable being measured here is one that has a true zero point. The negative values are also are not possible and are meaningless on ratio scales. With a true zero point, a value of zero indicates the absence of any magnitude. So, Monica, difference in interval scale. So, for example, ano man, example ani. Any measurements of time, days, seconds, hours, milliseconds is on a ratio scale because you cannot have a negative time. Same with height and weight. Maragya po, height and weight, di ba? Wala negative. Well, for, ang sa interval, may da siya negative value, like negative 14 degrees Celsius, or ma ma mabugnaw na kayo, negative, unsam na, 500 Fahrenheit, may ngana. But in ratio scales, wala eh. Wala siya negative value. Because you can't have a negative value of your height or your weight. That just means if zero gani, wala magnitude of measurements or wala measurement. That is the ratio scales. Matwa. Balikon ta. There is, there are two main types of data. The qualitative or categorical and quantitative numerical. Ay kalimot. Quanti, numbers. Quali, category. Or description na siya by words. Now, for qualitative types of data, may dapat kita duha, duha klase. The nominal scale and the ordinal scale. Nominal scale, mukalimot nominal name. While ordinal, it can be, by words gapon, but it can be arranged or in placement. Okay? Number three and four, interval scales are numeric and ratio scales are numeric. These are under quantitative data. For interval, may da siya negative point because may da siya uh, has no absolute or true zero point because may negative point may negative value man yung interval scale like degree Celsius. Walang ratio scale, may da true zero point which means wala siya negative values because if mag zero gani ang values sa imong ratio scale, that means wala yung magnitude ang imong nga data. Okay? Claro? Now again, May da punta sa quantitative variables. May da kitang itawag nga continuous and discrete variables. So, man nga continuous and discrete variables? Now, in quantitative variables are measured in an interval or ratio scale, di ba? Kung is discuss kanina. There's quantitative variables are measured in an interval or ratio scale, which can be continuous or discrete variables. Now, your interval and ratio scale types of data can also be Continuous or discrete variables. Now, continuous variables have an unlimited number of values between the lowest and the highest points of measurement. Values can be divided into smaller increments, including fractional and decimal values. Example, ano yan naman? Example of this is height, weight, temperature. Now, height is theoretically wala na siya, unlimited na ang iyang number. As long as Kung kanus anak po ito, kung pinakataas anak, mo nang yung measure mo, nang ito continuous variable. Because you can have a value from point zero point zero 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 one po ito, yun naman na, 1 million meters or infinite number of meters weight, temperature. Another example is time. Between 1 second, 2 seconds, there can be, mga panikakuanan sa yung continuous variable. Because in between, uh, in between two data is may data, you can also 